Hi, everybody. This is Fei Wu, and this is not a Fei's World podcast episode. And I'm wearing my pajamas. That's why I'm not turning the camera on to focus on myself. But today, I would like to provide a walkthrough, or、uh, rather, say a guided tour of my mom Shang Li's new art website. And this is something I build for her. This、uh, previous week or so, and there's a lot more work that went into gathering the assets, resizing them, and all that. So I thought this would be an interactive way for me to share sort of my work, what I've been up to, and I would love to get your feedback. And I thought this is very interesting because, as many of you know, my mom is. Uh, a traditional Chinese artist who focuses on watercolor paintings, and、um, a little bit more about her is、uh, that she spent about forty years, thirty-seven years to be exact, working in the Forbidden City of Beijing, China, where I grew up. And、uh, by the way, in case you haven't been to the Forbidden City, it is、uh, it was home to the Chinese emperors, and、uh, the place is huge. It has nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Uh, temples inside, and it's beautiful, gorgeous. So, this is a project I had put on hold for quite a while because I, I let my client projects come first. And、uh, but everywhere I traveled, people asked me about my mom's work, and I had to fumble through her Facebook page pictures, and they're always scattered, not always up to date. So,、uh, didn't really appear、uh, very professional. So, her share of success、uh, actually came in back in. In the mid '80s, and unfortunately, much of her work wasn't captured or shared on the internet. So this is my attempt to compile several highlights of her career as an artist from the mid '90s until now. It has also become a great opportunity for me to learn more about my mom, what she does, and the Chinese history in general. By the way, before I get started, the site、uh, is built using Squarespace. The theme is Lang L A N G E. And really easy to use. Squarespace is something I consistently recommend for most of my clients. Very easy build out as well as maintenance. And I'm not affiliate、uh, for the service. I just、uh, enjoy using it. So if you have any questions for my mom's artworks, techniques, characters, even the build out of the website, please let me know. And uh, to uh, get into it, I will introduce her work in reverse、uh, chronological order. So the first, as you can see on the website, is the Chinese empresses. This is the latest collection she has started working on since 2014, and she hopes to capture, let's see,、uh, roughly 120 empresses in the Chinese history, the most representative ones. And、uh, she estimates to spend about five years to complete the project. But in many ways, I hope she gets to get that done a little sooner. And the technique she used here is, in Chinese, it's gongbi,、uh, but in English, it means meticulous. Sorry, meticulous, which means it uses highly detailed brush strokes,、uh, and very precisely. It is often highly colored as well as you can see, and、um, uh, it, it's usually used for figures or、uh, narrative subjects. And often practiced in the old days by artists working for the royal court or、uh, independent workshops. But more importantly, as I'm scrolling through here, that my mom believes that we can learn a lot from history, and not just Chinese history, since this is her domain. It is her way of contributing to the world, and learning from women in Chinese history, in particular,、uh, has been a missing piece. Because there aren't、uh, consistent records in text or imagery that tells a complete and cohesive story of these very, very powerful women, which once led the country, made some very challenging decisions while raising children, and the first and、uh, not my only favorite ones, but one of my favorite ones here. Is、uh, her name is Luo Shen, and she is known to be one of the most beautiful、uh, emperors as well. Is very knowledgeable and very kind, so very good reputation there.、Uh, not every single one of them had good reputation or had a、um, necessarily a, a beautiful life, as you can see here with the flames and and. Uh, Uh, so I want to scroll down. There's one other character that really caught my eye.、Um, is this little girl here? So, oh, by the way, all the characters are are real, obviously. And、uh, this little girl,、uh, 
uh, she became the empress when she was just six years old. And the first thing I noticed was just the weight of her crown and the outfits that she was wearing. And my mom said, indeed, there was a lot of pressure put on her. So I hope you get to kind of browse a lot of these uh, imageries in details on your own. And um, it's actually pretty fun to do. So moving on to the next projects. Uh, this one is called The Dream of the Red Chamber. And this is actually a collection that uh, was my mom's breakthrough work. And my mom was first recognized in 1985 after spending uh, 10 years from 1975 to 1985, creating the first ever complete collection featuring 413 scenes from the Chinese novel, classic novel named Dream of the Red Chamber. And this particular collection was featured at the Grand View Garden in Beijing for over 20 years. So I'm scrolling through here some of the main characters and uh, you can learn a little bit more about the novel at the bottom of the description. And uh, there's a button that says view the entire collection. It is kind of daunting if you're looking at it for the first time. So I broke down 400 characters, oh, 413. Actually, it's a little more than that because my mom kind of recreated some of the characters. And as you can see here, each page consists of about 100 characters and um, they're all designed by my mom. They're all unique. And this collection received a ton of praises from experts of radiology. Radiology is the study of the Dream of the Red Chamber. So I'm gonna try to scroll real fast here. Sorry for the dizziness. And uh, from here, you can go to the next set of 100 characters. I think there are five of them all together. The last one is about uh, 50 to 60 characters, but you can also go back to visit the entire collection again. So as you can see, we're back to where we started. And um, so I wanna kind of also mention this uh, collection called 100 Flower Goddesses. And this one was released in conjunction with a premiere of Dream of the Red Chamber. And this is a hand roll. And, um, you know, you open kind of, and then you start reading or uh, viewing the collection from right to left, actually. And as you can see, there are uh, roughly a lot of women here, but roughly a hundred women. And the storyline here is not to give away Dream of the Red Chamber, but a lot of the characters actually um, passed away at the end of the story. And um, my mom believe will kind of design these characters as they are fairies that return to the earth. And the hand roll, which I spent a lot of time stitching together today is nowhere near perfect, but you can kind of navigate and kind of get a general feel for what it looks like. So I also included some of the praise from experts, which is part of the hand roll. And these are some of the folks, uh, they are Chinese most renowned calligraphers, and many of them passed away already. And uh, I listed some of their names here. And they're also surprisingly a, a set of uh, praise from others separate from the hand roll, also very renowned experts, calligraphers. So moving on from a thousand, uh, flower goddesses we we're on to the ink and water collection and this one focused primarily on the use of ink and water varying shades of the ink are achieved using dilution and brush strokes techniques and i just love this particular dragon uh, painting and uh, inspired by chen rong uh, from 12 the year 1244 and it's very sophisticated and Chen Rong's uh, dragon painting, in particular this one called the Nine Dragons, is actually on permanent, permanent display at the Museum of Fine Art in Boston. So, and there are some of uh, the additional ink portraits. This one was done on silk. You can see the texture in the background, also very meticulous style. Uh, you can see the lines are very, very fine. I can actually zoom in here, as you can see, and and these characters are Guan Yin, and they're also known as Chinese Buddha, uh, very mythical creatures. 
And finally, some of uh, landscapes. And we're moving on to the next project. So this is a full collection. Actually, my mom painted way, way more of these Guanyin uh, characters. They're very popular, uh, very popular commission works for, for people living in China. And um, Guanyin or Chinese Buddha are also known as goddess of mercy in English. And these paintings are absolutely gorgeous because um, there's a combination of figure with um, landscape and a few more examples here. They're all very different. So one comment I made here, well, this is actually taken from Wikipedia. Um, Goddess of Mercy is often um, seen as both male and female uh, because there are, are uh, limitless and beyond gender. So these are represented work and also professional photo photographs. And uh, I will be making uh, any of these paintings, by the way, uh, available via print format um, for anyone who's interested. And we are almost done here. The final collection I'm showcasing is the freehand style. So opposite of meticulous paintings, these are more broad strokes and um, also known as one of the four arts of Chinese scholar official class. So I'm using a very uh, easy to view sort of a gallery here and uh, very colorful these paintings uh, in case you haven't noticed these are actually some of the um, uh, recreated uh, paintings from the collection dream of the red chamber and this collection by the way has been everything on this page has been donated to the red cross organization as part of their art auctions in 2016. my mom's actually really excited about that so um yeah, she hopes to, to do more going forward. So we're done with all the collections. There is a shop button. Uh, there's a little online store here that I just developed. And uh, you can see once you click on the print work, you can see details of each painting. And I will be using a very high-end fine art paper, uh, US letter size, eight and a half by 11 inches to kind of provide uh, the print work. I'm also thinking about setting up a Zazzle store for my mom as well, where there can be mugs, pillowcases, or uh, holiday cards, I don't know. So uh, there's a lot of people requesting to see some of her work in print format. And um, so that's my attempt of doing that. So to kind of just close out this introduction, um, if there are any questions, you go, you guys know how to reach me, phaseworld at gmail.com. And uh, there's another email, it's hello at shengliart.com in case you're interested in, in asking us any questions. So uh, yeah, last but not least, and uh, there's a little bit of a bio for my mom under about. So I call it the personal experience of the mastery of Chinese painting. And uh, here in her bio, you can actually get a kind of a very high level context to what she did and uh, links to each of the collections and her CV in PDF and also a web page that I built. I'm kind of, uh, it was found it really interesting kind of doing something a little bit different for her resume, which looks a lot better than mine and uh, her exp exhibition her design portfolio and just insane amount of work that she did. I couldn't even believe it. So it goes on and on and on. So this concludes uh, kind of the entire walkthrough of Xiang Li, the master of Chinese paintings, new website. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, yeah, look forward to your feedback soon. Take care.